this morning, we are catching up with one of the greatest professional skiers of all time. Dare I say one of the greatest professional athletes of all time, Lindsey Vaughn. Mm. First American woman to win an Olympic gold medal in the downhill. She also has an impressive 82 World Cup wins, including 20 World Cup mm. titles, and was recently inducted into the U.S. Olympic Hall of Fame. Mm -hmm. And since she retired back in 2019, she's, been, she's really been peeling back the curtain on her remarkable career, her life. Lindsay, welcome back. Good morning. Welcome Hi, home. I know, welcome I know. Home. Good to be home. <laughs> you know, first off, we want to just ex express our collective condolences about the, the loss of your mother. I know she, she died back in August from a long battle with the ALS. First of all, just how are you doing? How are you coping with, with all, of, all of that? Um, I'm okay. You know, it's been a bit bumpy. Um, she died only a year to the day of her diagnosis, so um, it was a unfortunate, you know, quick battle, um, but she was the strongest woman that I've ever met in my life, and um, our whole family is kind of dealing with it as best I can. Mm. But, um, yeah, I try to be as positive as she is every day, and uh, one day at a time. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you talked about, when I mean, you give that Hall of Fame speech and thanking your mom and her ability to help you overcome, overcome obstacles, for folks who may be going through the like kind of issues and, and battles right now. What, what's your message to those folks? Um, I mean, I think the important thing is to just take care of yourself. Um, mentally, physically, you know, I've been really outspoken about mental health, especially in my, in my book, Rise. Um, but, you know, I've been struggling with insomnia as well. I talked to my doctor. I got medication. You know, I have that under control. I think it's just really important to look at all, your as all the aspects of life and just do the best you can, you know? Um, my mom struggled. She had a stroke while, ha while having me, <laughs> while giving birth to me, and then obviously her ALS, but she was always incredibly positive, and I try to just have that same outlook and approach to life, and as long as I can take care of myself and take that same attitude, then I feel like I'm in a good place. On that note, look, you're grieving. You've talked a lot about insomnia and even mental health and how a lot of us struggle with it. Is there anything you do every day that maybe somebody at home can apply to their own life? Or is there, you know, Jill was just talking about that little, you know, stress squish ball. stress ball, or, but is there anything that seems to work for you? Is it meditation or anything that you do? Um, I mean, as long as I'm sleeping well, I'm feeling really good. But I think for me, journaling is journaling. the best thing. Yeah. yeah. Every I, day? Almost every day. And it's, I mean, I think I've, I'm less when I'm feeling sure. good. But I think mm. when you're actually feeling good, it's the most important time to journal. Hmm. Because when I have a bad day, then I can go and I can look at a good day and say, this is what I felt. You know, this is these are the good memories to hold on to. Gratitude. You know, sure. especially with my mom. You know, mm -hmm. that was something that was really helpful and kind of processing and remembering and um, just like feeling those positive memories to, again. To house plan, I'm a, I'm a daily journaler as well, but I always like to end with one thing that I'm grateful for. Hmm. And I find that that's, that's something that, that, that helps me. Yeah. yeah, I used to have a book that actually said, I, you know, three things that I'm grateful for. And hmm. I try to do that as well. Right. But I think mainly just focusing on the positives every day is something that's really important. And, and what about the gym? I mean, are you still hitting up the gym like you used to yes. when you were training? I, I heard you picked up tennis. Is, yeah. Is that going? I mean, you know, I'm no Roger Federer, but... Um, <laughs> yeah. But, I know. Savannah and I should play. You know, yeah. we both are... We both love Roger. But, I, you know, I just really try to stay healthy. I think that's, mm. you know, for me, I, I need to get out that energy. I'm not competing anymore. So um, being in the gym or being at home with my tempo wow. or that's, that's um, playing tennis, you, you know, it's a really, really good fast. outlet for me. <laughs> and do you ski for fun? <laughs> yeah, I actually do. I had my first um, ski vacation since I was really? a kid last year. We went to France and it was so much fun skiing with my yeah. sisters. Oh, this and... is why people like Really quick, yeah. this production company, I pray, this, this, oh. this company that you started, <laughs> like, what are, what are we going to be producing? I mean, I did my first uh, documentary directed, produced uh, wow. on Peekaboo. Um, that was actually mm -hmm. on Peacock. Um, so that was amazing. She was my childhood idol. Mm -hmm. And we've got some pretty amazing projects coming up. So, you know, I'm just, I'm working, I'm Good working really you. hard on a lot right. of different things. Well, you know, always Lindsay Vaughn, refusing to retire. <laughs> Lindsay Vaughn, thank you. Thanks thank for being here. Thank you so much. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.